Wisconsin football fan Darian Moran has endured more hardships in his 14 years than most people endure in a lifetime. This past May, however, he saw a huge wish come true as he got a chance to meet and spend some time with members of the Wisconsin football team. Since that initial meeting, the Wisconsin players have devoted considerable time and energy to helping Darian find hope in times of despair. Rick Pizzo has the story. Green, 20, hunt, hunt. 14 year old Darian Moran is a freshman at La Follette High School in Madison, just 10 miles from the University of Wisconsin campus. Hey. Though he's never attended a Badger game, Darian harbors the dream of one day representing his home state Hunt. and sprinting out of the tunnel in Camp Randall Stadium. What I love about football is just the intensity and the adrenaline that you get when you're on the field. Darian has a gung-ho attitude. He wants to be the best that he can be. He just wants to show everybody how far he'll go for the team. Darian's enthusiasm has been tested throughout his entire life. At the age of four, he lost his mother, Jeanette, to ovarian cancer. Eight months later, Darian's father, Tom, succumbed to liver failure. Darian and his sister, Ashley, were raised by their great aunt, Terry, and great uncle, Larry who grew concerned during the summer of 2011 when Darian began experiencing hip and leg pain. We went to the doctor and he was diagnosed with a pulled hamstring and the pain just kept getting worse. It was the physical therapist that said, I think there's something more here. He's lost about 15, 16 pounds. That led to an MRI, and that led within 45 minutes a trip to UW Children's Hospital. There, Darian and his family received a discouraging diagnosis, histiocytosis, a rare autoimmune disease that produces tumors throughout the body. Darian must regularly endure chemotherapy treatments, yet there is no cure. Darian has his good days and his bad days. He gets upset that he has to go through the treatment. I usually don't feel really well. I like to sleep off the aftershock. But Darian's a fighter. He's always been a strong young man, and this isn't going to stop him. Darian was accepted for a Make-A-Wish bedroom redo. He wanted a football-themed bedroom. And so Make-A-Wish contacted UW and enlisted the help of our Badger football team. Members of the Wisconsin football team spent three long days converting Darian's bedroom into a Badger fan's palace. I was kind of mad that I wasn't able to see it at first, but I knew the Badgers were going to be working with it. So I was really happy about that. Larry really occupied Darian's time while they were putting the room together by playing football with them. Oh, the corner off. Darian didn't see anything, but once it was all dressed and they had all the finishing touches, we went in there. Go ahead. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, my God. Darian was just elated, and it was wonderful. My favorite parts of the room, obviously, are for my game systems. I love playing games. But the things that I really take most to heart are my hats. Because they remind me of my mom and my dad a lot. Darian's dad was a big golfer and he would collect hats from everywhere he went. When his dad passed away, Darian wanted all his dad's hats. The hats just have special memories with each one of them. They just help me remember of, don't forget history, just keep going. 
Or your friends are gonna like hanging out here. Yeah. <laughs> Except there's not gonna be any football thrown in. But there's a field. <laughs> Inexplicably, tragedy struck Darian's family again. Just two months after his room makeover, Darian's great uncle Larry died after suffering a brain aneurysm. We'll play. Darian clings to the joyful memories he and his uncle shared. Memories like when the entire family met new Wisconsin football coach Gary Anderson. How are you, young man? Good. Good. Doing all right? Yeah. Okay. When I first walked in, I saw him there. I couldn't help but smile and realize, like, yeah, I'm here, and that I'm not dreaming. Right. OK, sit over here. Um, he had a situation in his family which would make a lot of adults cave in. I didn't expect to see a young man with a big, bright smile, excited about life. So you've never been to a game here? Never been to a Badger game? OK, all right. How about going to the first game of the year? You good with that? On August 31st, Darian attended his first ever Badgers game. Fired up? Yeah. It was hard to control my emotions because I've never been to a Badger game. The first game, the atmosphere is always special. Uh, fans are really excited to get the season underway and it's always sold out. Hopefully it, it's inspirational for him. Good morning from Camp Randall Stadium in Madison. Welcome to the 2013 season as the Badgers open up against the UMass Minute Men. All the guys tell me when you run out of the tunnel, you can hear the people over the top of you, and all the noise just caves into the tunnel. It's just going to be really, really fun. walk out of it with a tremendous experience, something that he may never be able to do again. I know he loves the University of Wisconsin, and we've tried to let him wrap his arms around the you know, University of Wisconsin football program. The handoff to Stacy Bedell, running left, and he gets labeled by Boyle, and the ball's knocked out, Wisconsin football. Stavia play fake, throwing long for Abradaris. Got it, 10, 5, touchdown, Wisconsin. I love this. This one's over the Badgers victorious in convincing fashion. thank the Badgers for one thing, it would be to being part of my life and not treating me any different from any of them. <laughs> and I hope I get to keep hanging out with them and changing lives of other people as much as they have mine. 44? Yep. Not 33? <laughs> I have that one at my house. You just said. I have it at my house. Come on, man. A great start. Remember right where we should have been. It's dominating, and that's the way it should have been, right? There's no magic speeches. You know me. I'm not about that stuff. All right, All right. All right Darren, let's go. Badgers on three. One, two, three. Badgers. Darian is currently tumor-free and in remission, having finished his final rounds of chemo just over a month ago. So now he's living life in a normal teenage boy sort of way. Going to school, football practice, and watching his beloved Badgers on game day.